Hello folks and just something interesting I'd like to share with you and anybody who was around in the 1980s or earlier right up till 1993 actually then you've probably heard of the Cold War which was the obviously the threat of atomic war well I've got this rather interesting relic here which is apparently brand new in its original box and we are looking at the Plessy PDRM82 which literally is a Geiger counter a personal dose rate meter or basically it's designed to be able to detect lethal gamma radiation and I'm going to get it out of its box but just to show you a bit of insight, see I have the uh, required C-cell batteries for this device. And it's a rather interesting look at a bit of Cold War history. This was also standard equipment that was issued to the Royal Observer Corps for obviously use in the underground monitoring stations. So here we go, we're going to get it out of the box and have a look. And we may even be able to switch it on, let's have a look. So when we open the box, first thing we see, we open the top of the box, it's packed in a certain way, which I'm told is the battery compartment is open, and I would guess that is to protect the terminals inside of the battery terminals from corrosion via moisture. And we're going to open the top flap, just lift the cap out of the way the battery cap we're going to open the first flap and have a look inside and we can see there we've got the meter itself we've also got some accessories a lanyard which i believe is for securing the meter around the waist and we'll have a look at that in a moment we've also got here which is a neck strap because obviously the pdrm 82 was the portable version not to be confused with the f model which was the same version basically but the main difference being it had a coaxial connection on the base of the unit which was to allow it to connect to the fixed survey meter which was what was inserted up the, the fixed survey meter pipe inside the royal observer core post so we're going to lift it out of the box and first look at it is pretty basic looks like we have a nice robust housing to protect everything and here we've got the actual lcd display here okay now this meter is registered in centigrade per hour in the air which is an imperial measurement and i'm told that basically your annual maximum dose that anyone should be a, a exposed to of radiation in a year is one millisievert okay so obviously that would roughly translate into 0 0.01 of a centigrade and we can see down here we have the battery compartment this is the battery compartment and what we're going to do is we're going to insert the batteries c cell batteries now the important thing about this device was it was designed to be easily to use there's only literally two controls on it on or off and also the battery life ordinary c cell batteries they have a life of just under 400 hours i believe so in other words you could leave this thing switched off or well, switched on sorry for 400 hours before you need to change the battery that's a bit of a bayonet affair to attach the battery compartment but you kind of twist on push down and twist on and i've already had this one out of the box and because this was an important piece of cold war history i have affixed my own little personal tribute to the royal observer corps which is an original 1980s era, era sticker which 
I've affixed proudly to the outside of it. Okay, so we'll turn the meter around now so it's facing us. Okay, and literally we're going to switch it on. But before we do, we're going to have a quick look at some other bits and pieces inside the box as well. We have the original instruction manual. We'll have a look at that quickly. And basically, very, very basic. You can tell by the quality of the print and the paper. This is basically 1980s issue. These things were actually used right up until 1993, I believe, which is when most of the, well, nearly all of the Royal Observer Corps posts were stood down, including the Royal Observer Corps. And it just gives you a brief insight into how it works. So we've got the LCD indicator. We've got the switch here, which is also where the battery compartment is. We only have two functions, on or off. Okay, and we're going to turn it on now. This is a rather novel experience. But if we switch it on, okay, one turn to the right, and the meter goes into a testing sequence. Okay, and what should happen is, there we go, it's come into 0, 0.0 which is good, bearing in mind that these meters are des designed to only really give you any idea about lethal gamma radiation, which is a good thing. And of course, if this ever does register anything, then I would say that it would literally require probably an atomic device to actually detonate in the atmosphere before you would get any reading on this meter. But that's a good thing. But also maybe something, some form of other disaster, like a nuclear power station, a leak of some sort. But either way, I'm quite happy to see that it's reading 0.0 in the kitchen, which is fantastic news. And we're just going to have a bit, look, a bit, bit of a brief look at some other features to it as well. So we're going to switch the meter off now. And I'm just going to turn the knob to the left, one click. And that is it and that is off and we also have this chin strap now the reason i'm doing this video about this particular meter is is because obviously the royal observer corps and other civil defense people were using this at the time this was designed to be a mobile dose rate meter so in other words if you did were fortunate enough to emerge from your bunker then obviously this would be an important piece of kit and as somebody i know has described it already it is literally a life and or death meter basically okay it is not capable of monitoring any kind of low level background radiation just the bad stuff but obviously equipment like this is a really important reminder of literally what we all could have happened if the Cold War hadn't of defused itself. So we're going to attach what we call the next strap, which is the flexible strap, which is designed to allow the operator or the person using the device to actually carry this thing around. So you would have gone and done various different surveys of areas to monitor the amount of radioactivity and obviously quite a practical little strap here we can affix it on here just pretty easy sorry my hands a bit shaky with this but just making sure we attach the strap correctly and there we go so we now have our portable unit which we can actually pick up. I, I've put this Royal Observer Corps sticker on here because there are quite a lot of these Royal Observer Corps posts that are still in existence. And literally, I'm going to be visiting some of them in forthcoming videos. I've already been to see one, which is pretty good, and literally gives you an amazing insight into what potentially could have happened and also the work that was done behind the scenes by none other than 
the Royal Observer Corps. Okay, and I'd just like to say before I end this video that this is obviously a working piece of history. And of course, you know, just to give everybody a bit of brief instructions, apparently when it is working, there is no clicking, there is nothing. Literally, all we have is a readout, a digital readout. And when you do turn on the unit, which I will do again, switch it on. Then literally the two arrows you can see there just before it goes into the test sequence is basically to give you indication of whether the radioactivity level is rising or falling. Obviously there was also some other versions of this which are obviously quite hard to find as well. You've also got the PDRM 82M which the only difference being with that model is instead of being in a nice orange housing obviously for use by the army the military for the same sort of function it was just literally a khaki green plastic housing and of course a really unusual meth model as well which you may want to look up on the internet was the pdrm 82f which is pretty much a full-blown military geiger counter with a sounder probe and obviously also the actual wand that you would use uh, the pdrm 82d i believe is actually capable of measuring much lower levels of radiation whereas obviously this is basically a doomsday meter and of course i'm glad of that because literally if this thing ever does register any radioactivity then it's not going to be a, a good situation but hopefully this is just now a relic of the past and thanks for watching the video and if you've got any questions then please feel free to ask them in the comments box and Thank you very much. Bye-bye.